Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of Dark Souls 3. In the previous episode, I was an incredible idiot by dying uh, from really, I think, relatively simple enemies. So let's quickly get back to where we were. We at least have a shortcut now to that inner area of the Cathedral of the Deep. Really such... holy shit, I don't even have ice anymore. Anyways, the um, reason I died last time is I without God damn it, all these guys are back alive. Yeah, I don't really need to take them all down, to be honest. I can also just only focus on where I was, which was downstairs. Because there really wasn't that much here, if I remember. Uh, I will just take them out. Unless I again get killed, don't for I should not forget pick up my souls that I dropped. Ah, this actually goes up. Did I already check this out? Don't even remember. Alright, that's just gooey stuff. Which are quite sturdy. Big waste of arrows, and I also have to check out the ceilings because they do drop down. At least earlier they did. I think that was over here. Ah, this is where I actually came in. God damn it! Right. Um. God damn it. <laughs> right. I should not die because I do think that I had quite some souls, or even did I lose all my souls? Where did I die? I'm pretty sure I died down below. I don't see my souls down below, which is a little bit of a bummer. Yeah, God damn it. I should first try and get my souls back because there are actually two knights one is the uh, down below here last uh, enemy that I died from but there's a similar knight before I get out there and I wonder if I need to fight him with the risk of dying and then losing all my souls or whether I can just Print. Oh shit, motherfuckers. Motherfuckers. They do have quite far reach. I cannot deny that. And their arrows actually also seem to. 
over. Oh, shit. Track a little bit. Holy shit. Alright, that's one guy down. And now for the other one. enough and now for another guy that could get me killed okay, damn it nice all right the only thing is I should not get killed this guy does not use um, Holy fuck! Oh man, that was a close call. If he would have hit me, I think the chance was pretty big that he would have um, pushed me off the uh, off the ledge. And he hits pretty hard, or although, although not that hard, 200 damage. Um, But yeah, that guy, usually they cast some kind of dark damage or something. But this guy doesn't. He immediately goes aggro. And then over here we have to fight uh, one of those knights. There are some guys lying in wait. In an ambush. What was this again? Uh, this was to get to where the uh, fat guy was that I just killed, where he jumped down from, but there's nothing there for the rest, as far as I remember. And now, the uh, check it out, motherfucker. All right, he's n not doing a lot. All right, but there was like this knight here, and I think he will only spawn once I am down below. And I also think that I should not attack him with the um, torch, fire damage. I think that the Estoc physical damage will be more effective against an armored knight. I'm not sure, totally an assumption. But yeah, this is the only part that I'm a little bit worried about, dying against him and losing all my souls. So yeah, I will already prepare myself mentally for that frustration. Let's just assume it will happen. Unless that guy simply doesn't spawn anymore. He was a unique enemy, but I will doubt it. But yeah, there he is. All right, here we go. Here we go. really not that hard actually I did get caught by his um, shield bash and he hit quite hard he hit for 300 or 400 damage so still not the hardest enemy but still an enemy you have to 
pay attention to. And now I wonder whether this very freaky spider thing also will respawn over here. I hope he does because he was pretty fun. Where is he? He was up there somewhere. He fell down. Unless it's a unique boss, I don't know. Yeah, I don't see any spider here. I find this a little bit of a um, suspicious room, really with nothing much in it. You would only almost think there should be maybe something hidden here uh, but it's probably that that spider dudes that i could very easily cheese past because he couldn't get through this uh, door so you could just arrow him um, yeah that was maybe his room so to say all right now we are getting closer to where i died the only ah nice all right how many did i have Yes, a lot. 34, goddammit. Almost enough to say I go back to Firelink and level up. I can actually level up because I also have some souls here. That's probably enough. I think I need 35 something to level up. Which is probably the wisest thing to do, because it wouldn't surprise me if I will encounter a boss. If I would encounter a boss here and fighting a boss here, with 35k in souls, would be such a bummer. So do I want to get back? Maybe I do. Shall I be... Better safe than sorry? Yes, I'm going to be better safe than sorry. It's a little bit boring. But... Um, yeah, the only problem is... Do I really have enough souls to level up? 35 something. I think I need 34 something. I need 35. And it could well be that those two... Souls that I have here, this is maybe all together. These four, one, two, three, four. It's maybe like 1000. So it, it will be tight, like whether I have enough. But I am gonna take my chances anyway. Because it's not that far. Um, to get back to where I was with all the enemies that uh, will respawn. All right, let's see how much Welcome. I need. Very well, then. Thirty-five four, so I need six hundred or so. I should be able to get that. Uh -huh. Ah, yes, nice. I have quite a lot. Um, let's do this one. Did my arrows replenish wood arrow stored 443 yes so i have uh, all my wood arrows are replenished so that's nice Ashen i'm not gonna buy anything else for now welcome very well then Hagen. all right what do we want uh vigor or endurance 
I'm going with endurance. Let's try to get it all dexterity, endurance, and figure all to 30. Very nice. And let's for the rest buy some bolts or arrows. Why not? Feather arrows. What do they do? Red feathered arrows used by hunters, their long range makes them ideal for distant targets. Simultaneously equip up to two types of arrows and switch between them as needed. Alright, let's use feather arrow. Ah, I can only buy four, that's a little bit too little. I prefer to have 92 wood arrows over want. four feather arrows. Feels so much safer now, and no risk of losing a level worth of souls when dying. Especially in an area where I have no idea when a cutscene will trigger and suddenly a boss will disappear up here. So it's a bit cumbersome, but I'm happy with this choice, I would say. Because I do make mistakes, let that be clear. Whipping out my binoculars instead of an Estes flask, for instance. I think in the previous episode I did that twice. Alright, we're not going to get those guys. Over here we have to fight those annoying guys. I will be a little bit more aggressive now, because doesn't really that much if I die now. <laughs> also with these guys. Especially the... Bow dude. Where is the bow dude? Why the... Like so. Alright, and uh, do I really need to take out that guy on top? No, but I will take him out because he just sounds annoying with his thingy. God damn it, now I have to wait for him to do his rounds. Ah, uh, you know what? I can just um, walk up to him, fight him upstairs. here there was uh, not much here but I have to take down well what the hell ah that's the um, I was like what do I hear but that is actually the guy with the stick walking upstairs because I didn't kill him yet By the way, that knight that I will be fighting, I think he's probably pretty easily, although he does have a shield bash, but I think he's quite easily uh, backstabbed and probably also... What the hell is this? Ah, uh, parried, but I'm not gonna try and find his parry timings and die uh, trying. I will just fight, try to fight him the easy way. Fuck, what the fuck of range was that? Holy fuck, this motherfucker is fucking much more uh, aggro than I expected. God damn it. Fuck, I'm 200 in health. Alright, this is not going well at all. I do think I can easily... What the hell is that?
I can quite easily, I think, uh, um, bury him. I would not be surprised if that is the case. Because he has a pretty slow attack, but... Um, yeah. You must not get caught in his uh, flurry of swings, because he has quite a lot of stamina. He does quite some swings in uh, succession. I do think next time, if I die now again, I have to get back here. I can just avoid him by just immediately sprinting over here and up over here. That is what I mean. There are also quite some in ambush over here. Okay, where the hell did that came from? Somebody threw something from somewhere. Oh, I forgot to take out that big dude. Ah. That are these um, statues. Alright, I'm first going to take out that big dude because he's too annoying, that sound. also be other enemies. Checking around a little bit whether I see more of those annoying little buggers in an ambush. Like I see one over there, but he's too far away. I will go down and shoot him now. <gasps> Holy shit, that was a close call. That was such a close call. Man, that really was less than a millimeter, millimeter away from death. Almost fell down there, and I'm pretty sure with 580 health points that would have killed me. That drop. <coughs> All right, so I can normally I can run over here. Ah, shit! No, there's a wall here. Or fence so you do have to run over here and then you can run to the left i doubt whether you can avoid that uh that guy over here he will spawn if you enter this room he will slowly from that room walk inside here but i wonder if you just sprint to the left whether he sees you and follows you around no any uh anywho i saw one in Hiding 
Yeah, I see one over there. And now he's gone. And I'm sure there will be more. That guy has two with them. This for sure is a boss room, right? Yeah, this looks like... Is this a pressure plate? S something that can move around. The boss area is probably over there. I'm not going to walk too far over there because it would not surprise me. If um, a cutscene will trigger and the boss fight will start, but wonder, can I walk in here without damage? Let's put on the huts to see any status effects. Holy fuck! Ah, oh, fuck, another one of those. Fuck! Motherfucker, that was, that's the second one. Holy fuck, that was pretty well done. That, there's an how the hell could I have not seen that dude? Where is he? Ah, he is fixed. Yeah, he's the same as that other guy. So there are two of them. can only, I think, really hit them. Um, once you activated them. So you go close to them. Then you get the hell out of there. And now you can shoot. Yeah, I don't think you can damage them now. He has quite some range. Cannot deny that one. Alright, so this is pretty annoying. You have to constantly lure him out. While there are also these annoying motherfuckers. Let's first deal with them. God damn it! So annoying if you cannot hit an enemy. God! Alright, um, here we go again. This is way too slow. Oh, fuck me. All 
Alright, that does do good damage. You have to hit him in the head. Oh, fuck me, motherfuckers. Don't hit him in the head, you don't do good damage. Cat does good damage in the head. Shabby, a little bit annoying, and I wonder whether you could call this a cheese strategy. I don't know, but it's an annoying enemy, so I don't mind. I don't think I get any status effects from no poison or anything. So let's just get the goodies. Be done with it. Only annoying part is I can only walk very slowly. Those guys are actually ne almost quicker than me in this area. Holy fuck! See you later, dudes. That was, I think, again one hiding in ambush, which is a little bit annoying. What the hell are those? Are that enemies? No. The walls seem to be bleeding. Never a good sign, I would say. Drang shoes. Titanite shard dunk by soul. Pale tongue. At least we're getting some good goodies here. Drang armor. Drang gauntlets. Titanite shards. All right, what does drink armor do? Um, a little bit frost resistance. Not even sure. What it is. Um, didn't have a Drang helmet, right? Oh, here. No, that's a dark mask. It's not Drang. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm not even sure which enemy, whether there was an enemy type. Let's just very quickly equip it. Um... I 
it has decent poison and frost. Or is it really good poison and frost? Yeah, it seems to be very good poison and frost. Only Northern Armor has... No, that's even worse. This one, Mira Vest, 64, has a little bit better poison, marginally, but worse frost. Brigand Armor. Yeah, also comparable a bit. Hard leather as well, actually. Yeah, so it's not amazing, but I do think for Poison and Frost, in combination of those two attributes, this may be um, the best one. Yeah, I don't really remember an enemy seeing an enemy with these clothes on. I may have missed it. Anyways, I like the starting kit I had better if I can only find it where the hell is the assassin? here it is alright so we have a new armor set Drang hammers. Shit. Those look pretty cool. At least they look quite unique with their shape, like a, a bowl on a stick. Paired hammers of the Drang knights. Ah, that are maybe the knights that I took down, uh, that one knight that almost killed me while getting here the guy uh, indoors yeah we are all indoors but in that yeah what looks like a little bit of a prayer room with all kinds of church benches paired hammers of the drang knights descendants from the land known for the legends of the linking of the fire when the drang knights disbanded they scattered across the lands as cell swords they quickly became known for shieldless aggressive tactics that struck fear in the hearts of men no, because the guy that I just killed had a great shield that was, and it was also different armor, by the way. He was really like in heavy armor, so it is not him. I'm not sure whether I already fought Drang Knights. Skill, spin bash. Bash foes with a large spinning motion and utilize momentum to transition into an overhanded strong attack smash. All right. Um, Anywho, so we had a door over there. I think that may be the way forward, but let's first uh, clear out this side area over there. I'm actually not sure if it's the way forward. All right, I'm just gonna try it, screw it. How many souls do we stand to lose? 6,000, that's not that much. All right, nothing happens. I thought this could have been a pressure plate. Alright, I remain cautious with guys waiting in ambush. Like almost everywhere in this game. I'm just a little bit cautious. Expecting the worst. Right, what's this? Was that smart? Ah, that's, I think, a pathway that I know because I cannot get off of on, on it over there I wanted to say it looks like a bridge but what the hell this 
did this do? This is probably to for those um, the big fellers. The one that I just killed, and I also had a similar one earlier. This is probably there. The way of keeping them. prison or um, confined there's not such a lever over here right maybe over there I don't think so no that's just a table We can either go over there or we go check it out over here. Let's do it over here. And let's just also tackle this guy now who's over here. It's not taking me ages. To get that bastard. Why can't I fucking hit him? Ah, he actually has like multiple attacks. Motherfucker. Alright, and now for the big dudes. We will be... Shall I fight him over here? the fastest here I could run over there and just get him over there outside of the water but I'm sure there will be more of those little critters in ambush there and I want to fight that guy alone I don't want to have to worry about others right in the head Alright, but again, this guy is kind of dangerous. If you get... Oh. I can also cheese him this way. God damn it! Fuck, how can I fucking... No way, no fucking way. Oh my fucking hell, how can... Oh my, oh my fucking hell. Again, just like last time, getting killed by a low level enemy. I was quite slow in the water, but... Fuck me, man. I so hate this. So fucking hate this. I was over greedy with trying to uh, finish him off in one time, so he, I was jabbing at him and he just smashed me. But then he smashed me like three times in a row. Uh, he didn't even do that much damage. It's not like he, he wasted half of my health bar. He really had to hit me four times. But yeah. Crazy. 
absolutely annoying. Anyways, uh, I have to end the episode anyway, uh, either way. So yeah, again, it's identical to the previous episode, an absolutely anti-climax ending. Uh, in the next episode, I will for sure get past them because I've totally had it with those guys and I've been in this area for way too long. So um, yeah, sorry for uh, yeah this, this very messy approach. Hope that in the next one I will be uh, better. Next one is also in the weekend, finally, so I can make some good progress. Hope to see you there. Um, hope you still enjoyed it somewhat for the meantime. Guys, do not forget, always to keep on gaming. See you later.